Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Like success is getting what you want. Fulfillment is living what you're made for. Fulfillment and success, they're not even the same universe. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. <laughs> One word, progress. Progress equals happiness. If you keep growing, you're gonna feel alive. And if you keep growing, you're gonna have more to give. It doesn't matter how many statues, Oscars they give you or Emmys, or how much money you have in the bank. We've all seen people had all those things and I get the phone call because they're depressed or somebody commits suicide in that area. It's really an inner game. And I think that's what's missing for us today. Everybody's focusing on the outside world and how there's a lot of things in the outside world you'll never be able to control. You can influence, but you can't control it. This, your mind, your emotions, your body, you have 100% control over what you do with these things. And that's where the game is won. Win the inner game, then you win the outer game. But a lot of people spent their life trying to win the outer game, they won and they're miserable. Someone can tell your whole life you're a piece of crap, but you can say, screw you, read between the lines and make your life work. Someone can tell your whole life you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you're the smartest person in the world, and you don't believe it. Because self-esteem doesn't come from what people say about you. Self-esteem is earned within yourself. It's esteem for yourself, which only comes by doing things that are incredibly difficult, and then your brain goes, this is who I am. You, you really gotta figure out what you're made for, and nobody knows in the beginning. So you start where you are and you do what's in front of you, you do what's next, then you keep growing until you start to discover, hey, this is my real passion. So identity is the number one thing I work to change with people, to expand it. Expand your own sense of who you really are and what you're capable of. And the mindset has to be destroy any limitation and move forward, move forward, move forward. I think passion is the genesis of genius. If you've got enough passion, you're gonna find answers nobody else does, but most people run out of fuel, meaning they get tired, they get exhausted, they get burnt out, they get, uh, you know, the law of familiarity. They're around something so much, they take it a little bit for granted. And I've managed to see something in myself that I found in every great leader that I've ever respected, and that is, I, I, I value intelligence immensely, but I know really smart people can't fight their way out of a paper bag pragmatically, right? What I see is the one common denominator of people that are successful over a lifetime is the sustained hunger. Hunger is the number one factor. You need to be good at pattern recognition, and that's what gets somebody strong at anything. I mean, you look at, you know, why is Amazon doing so well? He realized one pattern was valued over anything else, convenience. Right? If you look at Tom Brady, a friend of mine, he, he's got pattern recognition like nobody else at 43 years old. He's able to do things no one dreamed could be done. He's got more Super Bowl rings than any team. See, what do they see that none of us see? What's the pattern? Then you gotta learn pattern utilization. It's one thing to see it, it's another thing to use it. And then if you're good after a while, you get to pattern creation. It's like if you learn to play the piano, most people play other people's music. And then there's a point you've learned so much that you're able to create really comes down to anyone can learn anything if it's important enough to you. So it's like my drive is not just for me. That wouldn't be enough because it's easy to meet your own needs. It's not that difficult. But if you can find something that you care about more than yourself, your daughter, your son, your family, your business, your mission, your community, whatever it is, that's really the secret to energy and vitality and strength and really learning. One of the things I want to do with people during this challenge is take things that seem so complex and make them so simple so you do it. Get it really simple, things you can do right now to change your life. You can go to experience it that day, and then you get momentum. Day one, day two, day three, day four, and all of a sudden now what used to be hard to do is easy to do. And I think for anyone, you gotta understand, anyone can learn anything if you can just break it down to its simple core, and that's what I try to do most. And I'm just not willing to settle for a life without passion and aliveness. That's just like there's so much to learn, there's so much to grow, there's so much to give, and I'm, I'm wired to grow and give. And I, I, I think anybody that's wired to grow and give is gonna have a really fulfilling life. It doesn't matter what you choose to do, you're gonna be alive. A year ago, 
people thought we were coming out of, you know, we got vaccines now and we're coming out of COVID and it's gonna be all over now. People were excited. But now after going through two years of this, there's a lot of people now that no longer have a compelling future. Like, you know, people talking about New Year's resolutions, most people don't even have one. Cause it's like, they never followed through anyway, right? But at least they had something to look forward to. They're starting to get into learned helplessness. Learned helplessness yeah, is, is when something is so bad over and over again, you start thinking the problem's permanent. No problem is permanent. Or you start thinking the problem's pervasive because I haven't handled my finances, my whole world's over. Or because my relationship's bad, my whole world's over. Your life is bigger than that. My goal right now is to shake that up for people. People need a new perspective and you can't do it by just sitting and thinking. You gotta move your body. You gotta change your energy and your focus. But if I get you into a higher state of being, mentally, emotionally, physically, then all of a sudden you start remembering who you are and you start coming up with answers that you never even thought were possible before. The idea of remembering who you are is something incredibly powerful. There was a uh, Batman cartoon where he gets amnesia and he gets put in like a, a camp, basically, a work camp, and he can't get out. And he, he feels stuck and weak and, you know, afraid. And then something happens, I don't remember what, triggers his memory. And he remembers that he's Batman. Just in remembering that he's Batman, he then takes the actions to fight his way out. And look, I know it's a cartoon, but that has always resonated with me. And whenever I'm feeling anxious about something, I always tell myself, remember who you are. But you're really talking about the most important concept in lasting change, identity. We all define ourselves in certain ways. So you start where you are and you do what's in front of you, you do what's next, then you keep growing until you start to discover, hey, this is my real passion. And it can change. People go for five, six, seven years and then they usually question their business, their career, their, their body, their relationships. And then one of two things happens. They change direction and feel renewed or they go, no, I got a great deal here. What the hell's wrong with me? And they recommit and they get stronger. But that's life. And if you don't grow, I don't give a damn how much you got going for you, you're gonna be miserable. I think as early on, I realized that, you know, one of the things you have to understand about life is everything changes and everything ends. And that kind of sounds heavy on the front end, but it's a truth. If everything changes and everything ends, number one, it should make you appreciate what you have right now. And then my view is what's next is always better. If I make it so, it's my job to make it so. And I think that's how we have to navigate. But most of us, most of us have been conditioned not to, to take a risk. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? And I always tell them it's really simple. One word, progress. 